What's going on guys, Alger Anastasio here with flightpath.com. A little bit different of a video because I do want to talk about one of the bikes that I've been using when I do a lot of my drone videos. When I wanted to test out a lot of the follow me functions on a drone, it just wasn't enough to just do a walking down the street or walking down the path or running. I wanted to of course get on a bike and make the drone actually do some work. Now VeloWave actually reached out to me a little while back. I've actually had this mountain bike for a while now and I didn't want to do like a weekend type of testing on it. I wanted to put it through a lot more than that and actually use the bike because for me, e-bikes was one of those things where I don't know enough of them to really judge it and I didn't want to have to just do some basic testing, uh, you know, and not use it enough. I wanted to see how well it does over time because I think that's one of the biggest things. How well do these bikes hold up over time? So for me, it was more about how do I leverage this bike using it for my drone videos, but at the same time, I wanted a more utility bike. I used to have one that was more lifestyle, but then I was only kind of limited to taking it on the street. I wanted something like this where I'm able to now do some follow me function modes on my drones, but then take it here, take it around uh, some tracks some trails in the mountains. And I think that's what a lot of people will be doing with their drones, probably taking out their bikes into the trails a lot more than just taking it out into the middle of the road. Now as far as type of bike, this is a 500 watt. This one's called the Ghost 500. And they do have a few different bikes from VeloWave. They also have the ones with the fat tire that has uh, a higher capacity, I believe it's about seven, 750 watts. And then they also have the ones where it's stepped through. So if you have uh, height and you wanna worry about height, this one actually is geared for people around five, six to six, two, I am five ten, So I am able to adjust this seat right here. One thing I couldn't do on my previous bike was take this off road because it did not have suspension. This one does have that front suspension fork. So it makes, of course, taking it off road a lot easier. Now, if you're not sure about e-bikes in general, one of the things that really got me out of the house and riding was the fact that it was an e-bike and it gives you that pedal assist. Now, the great thing about the pedal assist in general is that if you're out there riding and you come up on some hills that are a little bit more difficult, all you have to do is switch the settings here on the LED screen, bump it up so that that way the pedal assist and the motors will kick in a little bit harder to help you climb those hills. And if you don't want to use the pedal assist and you just want to use the full throttle, you're able to do that as well. Right here on the left-hand side, you can actually just hold that throttle down and the bike will continue going. Right here on the rear of the bike, we do have a seven speed rear drive train from Shimano. We also have rear and front mechanical disc brakes. Now, one of the things that drew me to the VeloWave, or at least the Ghost 500, is that it is one of the lighter bikes out there from their collection. The previous e-bike that I had was almost 100 pounds. This one actually comes in at 57 pounds, capable of carrying a load of about 280 pounds. Now, the battery that is stored within the frame is a 48 volt, 624 watt hour battery that is lockable. So if you need to park this somewhere and just know that the battery is locked right here, so you're not able to pull this out, you just have to put in the key, and then the battery is removable from the bottom. Now, as far as changing some of your settings, everything is here on this color LED display. And if you are wondering about this mount for my remote, this is actually one of the older ones that's meant for the RCN1 remote. I just gaff taped the whole thing here. So it does work, it makes it easy for me to do some follow me functions while I'm on the bike. And on the right hand side, if you did want to change your gear, if you wanted to go down or up, all you do is twist this portion right there. This actually will stay still, and this turns this side section right there for you to then easily shift up or down depending on your elevation. Now, when it comes to the tire, we do have the Kenda tire. This one right here is a 27.5 inch by 2.35 inch. Like I talked about, if you wanted the ones with more of a flat tire, they have it all the way up to a four inch tire on uh, some of the other models. I'll make sure those are also uh, linked down below if you guys wanna check out some of the other ones that VeloWave does offer. Now, when it comes to speed and range of this particular bike, like I mentioned, this is the Ghost 500. As far as speed goes, it is rated to go anywhere between 20 to 25 miles an hour. Of course, if you're going downhill uh, just by momentum and gravity, you're gonna be going faster than that most likely. But when it comes to speed, rated for 20 to 25 miles an hour, and also as far as range goes, also rated between 25 to 40 miles. Now, of course, that's in ideal flat surfaces. If you're gonna be using this bike and going on a lot of different terrain, going up elevation, you're gonna be using up a lot more power. So of course that range will decrease. With that said, let's jump on the bike. I'm gonna have the drone follow me back down the trail on the side of this mountain right here. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on this bike.
Might not be a big deal for a lot of people, but I am not in shape. So let's, uh, let's crank this up. I'm gonna go to a highest gear here. So I'm able to pedal, I'm in two. Once I start feeling it, I'll have to uh, go in a higher one. And there you go. Let's go cranked up to three, even four. There it is. So it is helping me a lot to get up this hill right now. Definitely not something that I'd be able to do without that pedal assist at this moment. All right, just a little ride all the way around in the neighborhood, also up this little steep hill here. I uh, just wanted to show you guys as far as how it is kind of changing some of your settings while you're uh, on your ride. And that's the main reason why I wanted to go with something like this, a mountain bike, just because it just gives you a lot more options. I'm able to ride it around daily as pretty much a regular bike, but also if I want to go explore, having just the ability to switch it on and have that pedal assist to help you and just get to areas that you probably wouldn't have gone otherwise. Now, of course, biking, great fitness tool, but I think just having an e-bike in general just makes you want to go out and see different things, explore different places that you just wouldn't have done or wouldn't want to do with a regular bike. Now, the Ghost 500 VeloWave, my review on it is actually really, really positive. The one thing I think, of course, I think this comes with a higher end uh, bike or mountain bike in general is that if you had rear shocks. Right now, it only has the front shocks, as you can see right here, there are no rear shocks on the bike. So of course, staying within that budget, uh, definitely still capable of doing what I need to do. And that's like I said, get out there, ride, get some fitness in there and explore different places I haven't been. As far as range goes or like range anxiety, I haven't had any with the bike. Like I said, it's rated for up to 45 miles, but if you're staying on flat ground, you'll get a lot more if you're using it for, you know, hills and a lot of, uh, you know, heavy terrain where you're going to be leveraging the battery a lot more. Of course, it'll be a lot shorter, but for the most part, not a problem. All you have to do is plug it in uh, once you're done with the ride, and then you're going to have a full charge. And finally, when it comes to price, right now, I know it is a holiday season. They have a Black Friday sale, but if you are seeing this afterwards, I think VeloWave is definitely one of the ones that are a lot more affordable out there as far as e-bikes go. The competition, there's a ton of bikes out there there but like I said take a look at it while you're doing your research see what they have to offer see what the other bikes have to offer see if this thing matches up with them I think the prices of their bikes are pretty affordable and if you guys are watching this before uh, the Black Friday deal ends they are having a big discount on their bikes once again huge thanks to Vela Wave this bike has been getting me out and about and like I mentioned if you guys have watched all my previous videos at least for the past few months all the ones that I'm doing with the follow me functions on all the drones I've been using this bike right there. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. This is Alder Stasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.